Hey guys, so I am running out of breath right now because I have been moving this motorcycle to get the perfect angle. This 250 kg of a behemoth is nothing else but the Triumph Tiger 1200 GT Pro. And damn, it looks good. But is this the best Triumph Tiger ever made? The title says it, but the answer is no. However, it is definitely the best touring motorcycle Triumph could have ever got out. This is what I'm going to tell you in today's video and the reasons behind it. Before we begin, subscribe to Motor Beam and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Yeah. Now the design changes to the Triumph Tiger 1200 have been massive. And how I tell you, look at the face. The major difference is over here. Visor is very similar to the ones earlier, but now it is manually adjustable earlier it was mechanical and it worked really really well you can see this thing over here this guard is an accessory you get 19 inch wheels with dual disc at the front brembo calipers plastic mudguard over here however this thing is a metal unit and it is damn good it has been taking a lot of bashing as we come to the top you can look at the grab rails so not the grab rails, the hand guards which are very purposeful, made of plastic but are very very strong. Now this bulk over here has been carried over, however it designs, it matches with the design of the 900 and the winglets which are coming over here, these are not winglets but these are kind of wings which throw out air in a vertical format. The seat over here tapers in and you can see that the seat is now at a low seat height setting making it at 850 mm, however you can go higher at 870 as well. For my height, you can see I'm already at the hip length. For the pillion, there is another floor to sit onto and they can have a good view of what's ahead because the rider will sit a little low any which way. This tail is completely carried over from the 900 and it looks very nice with the tail light coming below. However, the indicators as you see, these are flowing indicators and these are accessories which come down to 10,000 rupees a pair. Let me make you hear the exhaust note because that is what the major change is. The whistle of the Triumph is gone. This is rough. And damn loud. My goodness. This motorcycle, however, has gotten lighter and now it weighs 250 kgs. The thing I was telling at the start, however, it is tall. And when I tell you this, I am 5 feet 6 inches, but I have a friend of mine. He's just 5 to Fajo Ajo. Stand here, please. You can take a wild guess that the height of the Tiger and Feju, it's almost the same. So this is definitely a tall as well as a sizable motorcycle. You know what? Let's get to riding and I'll tell you a bit more about it. The GoPro is set up here. You can see the wires which are like this. So... Uh, and the quality of the switch is a little too hard however you can look at the meter over here and this is the hazard button this is the lock button that you can lock the handlebar with this is the home button once you click on it the meter comes back to home and on the left you can see the switch gear set this is for the lights this is for the cruise control the mode button where you can click and change the modes the way you want it this is a toggle button too and playing around it's quite decent indicator switch on high beam and there is a uh, this switch is for the heated seats this one is for the fog lights you get heated grips as well which are over here once you click on it it changes on the meter too since this is keyless the way you open a tank is just put your stand down and do something like this yep it's open now. To press it, to close it, just shut it like this. Done. So we have started riding the Triumph Tiger 1200 GT Pro and there's not much traffic around here. So what I can definitely say is that be it traffic, be there no traffic. This is one of the biggest motorcycles Triumph can offer in their lineup. Now there is the Rocket 3 that is a 2500cc motorcycle but this is exactly half the size however it is no less than riding a bigger motorcycle because 
it is sizable we've seen how tall this is and the fact that this one is an adventure bike with 200 mm of travel on the like 200 mm travel suspension on both the ends from the usd forks up front as well as the monoshock at the rear <laughs> it is quite nice definitely what i'm most interested in in the 0 to 100 0 to whatever numbers because we are in the normal sorry sport mode now and i'll stop here for a sec to do 0 to whatever is possible This GoPro went down so you can imagine the amount of thrust that was coming from this motorcycle and it was freaking crazy! Cruising on this motorcycle on the 6th gear at 100 km per hour it is taking just 4000 rpm and that is the sweetest part. Let me show you the mileage number that we are getting on this motorcycle by getting into the mileage mode right now and fuel status. We are in the sport mode cruising at 60, 70, kilo, 80 km per hour and it's giving us 30 km per liter. Now during the whole shoot today, I have ridden close to 45-50 km and in that it has ridden 12.9 km per liter which is decent enough for this motorcycle. Let's get onto the road mode please. I am actually cruising comfortably on 100 km per hour in traffic and this is really no problem. This guy is taking pictures of sunset and videos. Beautiful world and look at that freaking sunset dude amazing amazing okay back to the topic we are on the road doing 100 km per hour looking on the left no that is not great i what this uncle is doing something of his own i was pointing the camera to the left but i was looking straight so that is a trick that you can do with gopro that you can keep looking like this but keep your vision straight that is why i was riding at a similar speed don't worry about that let's worry about the traffic that's gonna come ahead because the good roads are ending and then it comes an actual Mumbai set of roads where this motorcycle shines really well. The best part about this motorcycle is actually the high, the adjustable, electronically adjustable suspension set that you get at the front as well as the back. You get USG forks at the front, a monoshock at the rear with a canister coming to its left and it is adjustable. You know, adjustable on the fly, the way you want it for preload and damping. There are preload sets for particular riding modes too and if I talk about the riding modes, it gets 4, actually 5 of them. There's a customizable riding mode too, there's sport, rain, off-road and road. 5. Quite nice. The exhaust note is goddamn interesting and the brakes, Brembo calipers, dude, it does the job really freaking well. Let's hear the horn. We're gonna hear the horn quite a lot so that was just one click of it okay left is empty and i'll go and park myself here behind a jaguar huh the gearbox on this motorcycle is actually quite hard and although it gets a hydraulic clutch it is heavy the clutch is so heavy that if i don't use it properly my fingers hurt at times although you get adjustable levers that is not a problem but getting the setting right is definitely something that's important and above that the gearbox too hard too 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 hard now the grip from the tires for this motorcycle is actually very nice because it gets medullary two runs tires 110 section front mounted on a 19 inch wheel and 150 section rubber at the rear mounted on an 18 inch wheel Although this motorcycle carries a bulk, you can see that my hands have completely stretched out. So that is a bit of a problem, not too much. Oh, you can definitely have a lot of fun with this motorcycle. This one rides the way it wants to and with a flick of a throttle in the road mode itself. It just opens up and goes. My goodness. This motorcycle has been scaring me a little, definitely a little. And the amount of attention this one gets is just crazy. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> 
so with it, no time reaching 100 second gear itself it does 100 second gear so dynamically this motorcycle is very 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 sound now the way this motorcycle rides it is definitely interesting but more on it the way it corners too this is a 250 kg motorcycle and the way it corners it's just it is holding its line so freaking well the roads are a little slippery and that is my friend a beautiful sunset all said and done there is a good amount of heat that i can feel to my legs too because even the wearing riding shows my legs are roasting right now because it's a good actually not good a crazy amount of heat that is being shared to my legs so because this is a big 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 engine car motorcycle 1160 producing 150 bhp close to 130 newton meters of torque this is powerful and it does deliver quite a lot of it heat from this motorcycle it goes all over the place there are fans on either of the edges you can see uh, there might be a beauty shot or something like that it dissipates it does dissipate heat quite a lot but uh, i am actually running out of breath now because it should be cold season it does not feel like one at all on this motorcycle i'm glad i'm not riding this in summer because i would have been completely toasted sauna ho jata mera pura sauna 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 baby sauna hai wo nahi steam and sauna wala sauna get it no no problem the fact that the suspension is adjustable the free setting which is there does make it decent enough for our mumbai roads or uh, indian roads you can see indian roads are different in every other state mumbai roads are like everybody complains about it so yes they are worse because the amount of traffic that moves on these roads is actually heavier than any other traffic like continuous movement or traffic that i'm saying there might be cities where traffic is standstill like um, i don't want to say but yeah roads are not good here but the suspension does help you quite a bit the visor is actually nice however it is manually adjustable which is a disappointment filtering through traffic from the extreme left is a skill that Mumbai cars come with their blood <laughs> it does not happen overnight you are born with it filtering through the leftmost traffic is something that has to be learned and gotten through over the years and then I'm sorry for the rear shot but can you hear the noise? Now there are some niggles definitely and the moment I put a stand on, no wait, let me show you the gear lock. The amount of effort that is required to put the gear down is just a bit too much. However, this motorcycle is quite stable and getting off of it is no problems at all. And this is the damn shaft drive which drives a 1200 the precision is quite nice however the lag that is there is a bit because for one second it takes about a second to get the punch and once the punch comes it is just too sharp even in the road mode it is just too aggressive for a motorcycle that costs upwards of 20 lakh rupees and it has a total of four main variants the gt gt pro rally rally pro what i like the most is the Rally Pro is a proper, proper short motorcycle for off-road riding. This is perfect for touring and that's the most it can do. You can enjoy the Triumph Tiger very well. The 1200 is a little difficult. It's hard to handle. It takes a lot of efforts and that is what makes it special because not everybody can ride a 1200. If you want an easy going Tiger, you can get the 660 or even the 900 the 850 sport is also a very good option but if you want to enjoy touring like go around the globe but with a triple cylinder motor tiger 1200 gt pro is a perfect touring motorcycle not the best tiger out there honestly speaking the best tiger for me is nothing else but the 900 rally pro because 900 engine is the sweetest and I actually prefer the older Tigers from the year 2016-2017 where 
the whistle the sound of the triple was just too beautiful this is still good thank you bye